Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Well, I'm doing fine, but I need to seem like I'm not doing fine because my sugar daddy just died in a tragic accident, so I really need to pull off the grieving process as if I'm actually sad. The sad girl makeup tutorials are a little too glam and obvious that the person is wearing makeup. However, my crying makeup tutorial is perfect for actually helping you pull this shit off. We're marching straight into manipulative girl winter. And what is more manipulative and toxic than feigning sadness while remaining beautiful to get what you want? Absolutely fucking nothing. So here we go. This is an extended edition of that tutorial because I really had to cut it short to keep it under a minute. I'm going to go into depth. I'm going to go into great detail. I'm going to explain my thought process behind each step so that you too can be toxic and manipulative for manipulative girl winter. Okay, so rule number one, we're all black because that's what sad people wear. Black. Your sugar daddy just died? Or black to the funeral because it's kind of inappropriate if you don't. Um, something else bad that you're supposed to care about but you kind of don't care about happen. We're black. It makes a statement. Everybody will start talking about how, oh, they started wearing black ever since that happened. They must really be going through it. No, bitch, I'm manipulating you and you're about to go through it. Second step is um, sanitizing your hands because we're not fucking gross. And so I'm just gonna do this how we should start any beauty routine, which is we're going to cleanse. So there is an optimal sad girl skin texture. And I'm gonna give you a hint. It's not disgusting and dry and it's not disgusting and oily. It has to be perfect. You have to have nice skin while you're grieving. Otherwise, who is going to fall for your tactics if you have blemishes on your skin? You have to look perfect in some ways. Like, for example, we're gonna keep the dark circles because we want to make it look like we're stressed out. You know, like Tim Burton's characters, they have perfect luminous skin, but they have their dark circles. It kind of adds to the sadness the romanticism the you know the fucking the fucking feelings that we're trying to like fake i'm a very oily person but i do like to use this moisturizer so like you want your skin to be luminous from certain angles while you're while you're you know sad and crying or whatever because we're not gonna fucking put highlight we're not putting highlighter on because that's a dead giveaway what the fuck kind of person in like grieving and bereavement puts on highlighter a fake one that's gonna blow our cover we're not trying to blow our cover. See that? Oh no, I'm so sad, but look at how, look at how luminous my skin is right here. Beautiful, perfect, angelic. It's, it's a movie moment. It's going to sway everyone who looks at you from the right angle. I've always wanted to be a beauty guru and I've always wanted to be a succubus who gets everything she wants. And with today's tutorial, I get to be both and help you be both as well. Speaking of beauty gurus, here's one annoying thing I noticed about them. Their new favorite product is basically is whoever is sponsoring them for that week or that month or whatever. You know, they'll rave about a blurring powder and they'll want to mattify all their skin. But then, you know, the next week they'll be like, oh, look at this this illuminating highlighter they want to look dewy all of a sudden and everyone's like which one is it well it's a little bit of both and if you paid attention you would fucking know that by now so we're trying to look luminous here we want to look luminous here but we don't we want this part to be matte this is a high point but this is a high point that's not cute to be luminous so we're mattifying that area like look who the fuck's gonna take anyone seriously if they have an oily face so I'm taking a, mat a mattifying sunscreen, even though it's nighttime right now. And we're just gonna dot that right there. Actually like all over the forehead to keep that area nice and matte. And then we're just gonna do that around the nose too. Okay, so if you have any um, blemishes on your skin, any scars that you need to cover up, use concealer to cover up your skin. If you don't have anything only only if it's very um, distracting on your face and maybe you're saying, oh, you're shaming me for having acne. This isn't the time for body positivity, okay? This isn't the time for me to encourage you to feel good about yourself no matter what. We are trying to be manipulative here. We are trying to sway everyone. This is no time for softness. We're going in with, we're going in hard, okay? We're going in for the nitty gritty. I'm not going to be nice to you. You need to be on point. 
Cover up whatever the fuck is on your face that is distracting. I don't have anything on distracting on my face, so I'm not going to cover anything up. But we're keeping the dark circles. Do not cover up your dark circles, no matter how dark they are. We're keeping those. A lot of the makeup we're going to be doing today, it has to look natural. It can't be anything crazy. So no crazy eye makeup. If you have eyelash extensions like I do, keep them the way they are. You can, you know what? You can like, if you don't have eyelash extensions, I 100% recommend putting on mascara that is not waterproof so that you could like, you know, get them wet a little bit and then they start running down your face so it really looks like you've been crying. You could do that. Um, you could also put um, like very subtle falsies. You wanna do makeup like how they do makeup in like movies, like very, very subtle. It doesn't look like you're wearing makeup, but you are the, you know, the, the clean girl makeup look or the no makeup makeup look, whatever the fuck it's actually called. We want it to be subtle. So no crazy eye makeup, no crazy contour. It has to look like we have to look seamlessly, naturally beautiful. And like if we're doing our brows, we should keep the brows a little subtle. Like most likely we're trying to manipulate a man. <laughs> That's, you think that man's gonna notice if you fill in your brow subtly just to fill in the gaps? They're fucking not. However, it will ch it will help with your appearance. So that's exactly what we're fucking doing. And say like a woman is on this man's side and she's like, you filled in your brows, you can't be that sad. Just be like, well, bitch, I just had to like do something to make myself feel kind of better. So either way, either just, you know, gaslight gatekeep girl boss is what we're doing. We are going for a very subtle brow. Nothing crazy, nothing too harsh. Just fill in the gaps. Do you see how it's like just subtly filled in? Nothing that a straight man would ever fucking notice. So, so far you're probably thinking, what's the point of this? Please shut the fuck up and keep listening. I have more secrets coming our way. This is where it starts to get juicy. So you want to take a blush or a red eyeshadow, whatever you have lying around. I have this beautiful red shimmery eyeshadow that I'm going to use. Let me walk you through this. When you're crying, have you ever thought about what you look like when you're crying? your parts of your face turn red, your eyes get red and puffy, and then your nose turns red, and your cheeks get flushed. So we're that's what we're mimicking. But we have to do it in a subtle way so that it's not super noticeable like those stupid fucking sad girl makeup tutorials that I've been seeing on Instagram. We gotta keep it subtle, and we're going to don't put primer on because it's gonna make it too bold. We want it to be subtle, and we also want it to fade throughout the day. If it just stays super red through the whole day, it's gonna give you away immediately. And hopefully whatever you have is like matte because you, you can kind of see the shimmers. But honestly, if anyone tries to point out like, oh, your, your red eyes are shimmery, I'd be like, why the fuck are you standing close enough to notice? Gaslight gatekeep girl boss. It never stops working. So you can kind of already see the difference here. This eye looks much sadder than this eye. I just got have a little bit of like redness and it just immediately makes the eyes look more irritated and puffy. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna kind of keep layering it until I have the look that I'm looking for. Okay, here we go. I already look sad, but I'm fucking not. I'm fine, I'm, I'm totally fine. But I look sad because is this is the magic of makeup. The next part, we're going to do blush. Now. So I recommend whatever you would use as a nude lipstick to use that as a blush because we don't want to, you know, we just don't want to be super obvious. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to swatch it on the back of my hand. And then from there, I'm just going to go in with my finger and just press it in. And the reason why I want to do this is because it really does look like it's part of your skin. It like really melts in and you can control how much blush you want to do. And, you know, don't try to make it look too perfect and intentional because again, that's going to blow your cover right away. And then you're going to fucking come at me telling me that this tutorial doesn't fucking work. No, it fucking does. You're just being dumb. Like you just didn't do it right and you're taking it out on me. Now you're gonna be sad for real. Put the blush all over on just the apple of your cheek. And now the next part is we wanna put it over this, the bridge of the nose. Don't, don't we look sad already? Don't we look so much sadder already? And now we're just gonna dab the tip of the nose with this. Now at this point, you are going to be tempted to do a little line work. What I mean by that is, 
you're going to be very tempted to fucking watch those sad girl makeup tutorials, those goddamn sad girl makeup tutorials on fucking Instagram and TikTok. And you are going to be inspired to get a liquid eyeliner or eyeshadow or whatever the fuck kind of eyeliner you use and draw your eyes downward to make yourself look sad. Do not do this. This will be a dead giveaway. This will undo all the hard work you have already put in. Okay, all those hours you put in, all the rhubarb pie you spoon fed to your sugar daddy, all that shit will have gone to waste if you do this. Don't be an idiot. Trust me, you're gonna look like a damn fool. Now, speaking of, speaking of looking like a damn fool, you wanna know how the fuck I knew Amber Heard was a lying cunt, you know, before, <laughs> before she fucking started testifying and made herself look like a damn fool? You wanna know how I knew? Because I looked at her face during the trial and I mimicked her facial expressions and that shit, mimicking someone's facial expressions helps you get inside their head. Now, let's mimic Amber Heard's facial expressions together. First thing she did was, she really turned her eyebrows up to make herself look like cartoonishly sad. Next thing she did was turn her mouth down. That's how she looked the entire trial. You feel like a damn fool, don't you? That's how I knew she was a lying cunt. Well, I think we already, we, a lot of us kind of already, a lot of us already knew that, but that was like the nail in the coffin for me. So don't make that face when you're trying to look sad. Think about the possibility of getting caught and that will be enough for you to act sad the whole day. The next step is lips. Oh, that's cute. So for the lips, I just put on like a dark berry color. I'm using Black Honey from Clinique. Use whatever dupes you have, whatever shade you have that's similar. I mean, we, we all know that Black Honey is like not super dark, but this is this is a good like, it's enough to make you look like you, you're, you're ready to go to a funeral to cry over someone. If you don't wanna wear lipstick, at least put some chapstick on because nothing is more unsettling than super dry chapped lips. You can't access the full potential of manipulation if you're not at your full potential of being beautiful seamlessly beautiful so there's that and now you're ready for a funeral like this is so grieving and bereavement appropriate it just makes you look so sad you're so ready to to cry and to be sad and to manipulate everybody all at the same time oh his grandkids are mad that he put you on the will instead of them well they should have fucking thought about that before like only calling when they needed something they should have fucking thought about that before, like, not ever fucking visiting him. And guess what? While they were off doing their own thing, you were right by his side, spoon feeding him rhubarb pie and giving him sponge baths. And now is your time to fucking shine. Now is your time to really make it seem like you're sad, but also kind of rub it in everyone's face that you're on the will and they're fucking not. Right? You are on the will, right? Like you saw him, like you saw him like change it, like you went with him, right? Okay, good. Also, if you're trying to make it seem like you're crying, use like, I don't know, use eye drops or something. If you're trying to be cute about crying, like if you're trying to be theatrical about crying, then we're going to just get like a clear lip gloss. I only have a clear sparkly lip gloss, my diamond milk from Fenty. I absolutely love it smells amazing too but th these are this is going to be our tears so just boop, boop, boop. if you're trying to look like if you want a tear stained face for photos then this is what I recommend doing so everyone can look back and be like oh wow look at how sad they were no you weren't they don't need to know that. Sadness, tragedy, so tragic, so tragic. Okay, sub to be my sub. Thank you, goodbye.